there should be something in place that protects consumers a little bit more than what we have right now. Uh, everything that's out there is for the people that's selling you stuff. They have their return policy and all this other crap. But what about the people that's putting out their money to buy this stuff, to rent a house? Like, I'm talking about this whole landlord situation. I'm very, very, very upset about what's going on. I'm upset because there's a lack of professionalism. None at all. At all. You should make it, this is your business. Therefore, you should make it your business to try to contact people in a timely manner to let them know what your plans are as far as fixing anything that they complain about or let you know is wrong. And today is the 19th of July. I initially had this leak problem in my closet um, let me look at this calendar. Uh, the 9th. Was it the 9th? I want to say... No, maybe it was the 16th. No. No, it was the 9th. Yeah, on the 9th, I initially had this problem. I contacted my landlord. I told him what was going on. He said 24 hours, which would put me at the 10th. The 10th, I heard nothing from this man. All the way up until Monday, I called them, left them a message, didn't talk to them. Tuesday, when it started raining again, this is just a, a briefing. Um, Tuesday, when I spoke to him, he swore that he told me that it would take, you know, as soon as it stops raining, they can't do anything when it's dry. Now, all week last week, it wasn't raining. You had ample time to come out and fix this problem, or at least, at least... That's all I ask. All I ask is for communication. At least tell me. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what it's looking like so I can prepare myself. But do I get that? No, I don't. Not at all. So it's a whole nother week. Today is Monday, like I said, July 19th. I want to see how long it's going to take for him to even call me to let me know what's going on. I know I'm not going to be able to hold it out, which I shouldn't. I want to, but I know I'm not going to be able to do that because of the type of person I am. Um, really close. I think I'm going to uh, write a letter today. I'm writing a letter. I'm not going to be disrespectful in any type of way, but I'm going to write a letter. I'm including pictures of the ceiling that's back there. And I'm going to share with him my disgust about this entire situation. Landlords and tenants normally do not have a good um a good relationship it's very very hard to find and i'm not here to be your friend i don't want you to be my friend i want you to fix what you're supposed to fix talk to me in a, a response just be responsible so respectful and responsible that's all i want all i want i don't ask for nothing else i'm not asking you to come cut my lawn i'm not asking you to come uh trim the hedges none of that i don't care all I want is for you to be able to call me and let me know what's going on. Because I want to go on vacation, but I can't because I don't want to leave knowing that it's going to be raining on and off and just have my closet all jacked up when I come back because that's not going to be your responsibility. You're not going to be held responsible for messing up my damn clothes in the closet because you didn't fix your leaky roof. So like I said, I'm going to write that letter today. Maybe not today because a couple days I'm going to write that letter. And when you think that you're getting uh, right on the first, lo and behold, you will not because I'm actually looking into escrow. I'm going to put that in escrow. That's going to show that I am willing and able to pay my rent, but you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And as soon as you fix that, you will get your money. That's all I'm going to do because I, I, can't, I can't stress myself out about this. If you don't want to be responsible, I believe whatever you put out there will come back to you. So you, you try to screw me over and somebody else out there will screw you over. So I don't have to do anything, you know, any kind of ill will or malice towards you, none of that. It's just frustrating. Like, come on, man, I didn't sign up for this shit. Not at all. Look at my eyebrow. That's how you know when I'm pissed. This eyebrow right here. Got him. Not at all. All 
Alrighty. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing, but let's take a look at my closet. I'm recording from my Kodak camera that I told you guys kind of sucks and I'm not impressed. So bear with me. Going into my bedroom. Ignore my closet. I'll show you guys my closet another time when it is more better. But this is the little <laughs> leaky, leaky, leaky right here. If you can see, it's very, very close to the lighting. And that's all I need is for the freaking water to go to the light and then have electrical problems. So let me, oh shit, what's that? It's all right here. You can see it. And it's kind of running down here as well. Come along here, run along here, run along here. And then come back here. If I move my mirror right here, you can see it's coming down the wall as well. Oh, I'm about to fall over some stuff. And if I move oh, this mirror, you can see it running down behind the wall by the light switch. Back there. Yep, this is glorious, isn't it? You gotta love this. And then there's another little leak uh, right over here. Yep, so that's what I'm going through right now with this whole leaky closet. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, um, when I first moved, moved in, I wanna say within that first week, I don't know if I talked about it, but I did have a, a leak. I came home from work <laughs> and I had a leak right in my kitchen. And this is it right here, it still hasn't been fixed. So this is my kitchen now and um, that's the leak right there. You see it, it's like the wall, the ceiling has this little pregnant bubble and um, they need to come fix that. So that's been, you know, since I moved in, within the first month of me moving in. And um, he actually came into my apartment when I wasn't here. He called me to let me know because the only reason he came is because I went upstairs twice to the lady that was up there. Went upstairs to her twice to find out if her um, toilet was leaking or whatever it was. And she said, Oh, she'll complain. So when she complained, that's when it got fixed. I don't know if it's because she's an older lady and she's been here for a while, but he came right out. Like he came out when she said something. So I'm kind of like, I feel so disrespected. Like WTF, my money is just as green. My check does not freaking bounce what's going on. So these are two things that I need him to fix ASAP and Oh yeah, and one of the I'm like, you know what? Have a good day.